Hey folks and welcome to part 4 of the Super Mario World playthrough where things are going to get a little outrageous in the uh, level outrages. Now I would say this is also a pretty hard level in the game to get through because this one throws everything it has at you folks. You got your bullet bills, you got those caterpillar enemies, you got those hop and fire enemies. There's just so much going on at once, and sometimes it's kind of hard to dodge it all. <laughs> in fact, I think one of my only deaths in the uh, game off screen from this playthrough, thanks to the magic of editing, I think one of those only deaths occurred in this level. Now, if I wanted to, I could probably just fly through all this, if... but I wanted to try to get through this the uh, regular way. Then again, maybe there is no regular way to get through a level in Super Mario World. Whoa, things got a little laggy. Th things got a little bit laggy there for a second because there's just so much on the screen. That actually happens a few times throughout this playthrough. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to be Super Mario. Definitely going to want to be Super Mario World for this. Oh man, there's just... I don't know how I did this. Barely made it. But that's actually going to bring it to the uh, finals level in the special world. Funky. F Funky Kong. Too bad there's not like a funky song playing here. That'd be pretty cool. You get like a... Yeah, something a little bit funky, right? But yeah, this level's not really too difficult to deal with, though. I'm... Personally, I'm gonna go back because this isn't really something I knew too much about back in the day. That I could just hit that P-switch and bring this, uh... This Yoshi over here. So I figured this would probably be the best thing to do. And... Because I grabbed that blue shell... I was actually kind of surprised when I grabbed that blue shell because I didn't realize it initially. But I'm just going to fly above some of this nonsense because some of this level is quite difficult, but that's all fine and good. Oh. I believe you get something if you grab all the green apples or fruits or whatever those are. Oh. At that point, I just kind of gave up on it, though. Oh. Just bonk my way through here. More of those Galoombas. Whoa. It'd be a miracle if I managed to keep Yoshi through the remainder of this level. But I get an extra life for my troubles. So if I die and I make it back here, it's no loss at all. You! Here we got some coins spelling stuff. R! You are a... Super... Mario? No, player! You are a super player! This must be the game thanking us, folks. Because this is actually the final special level in the game, and this will actually do something a little bit differently. Which I will show off after this bonus game. And I get nothing out of this one. You get nothing! Good day, sir! But yep, nothing here, and getting all these special levels completed in this... In the original Super Mario World will change the uh, environments. I believe it turns everything into an autumn season. 
And some of the enemies even change. And I'm going to go ahead and show off the top secret area for the first time. Because I'm going to go ahead and... <laughs> hey, I got the nice number. <laughs> but no, I'm here to get a couple of power-ups and go on about my business. As there is some unfinished business in the Donut Plains, folks. See what's going on in the second Koopa Castle. Morton's Cap... Morton's Castle. And I can't bring Yoshi in with me. So me and my 69 lives are gonna... See what's going on in the second Koopa Castle. Definitely want to be careful and look out for those spike chain ball things. And of course the thwomps are back in Super Mario World, folks. Oh, and the dry bones enemies. Although you can spin the uh, dry bones enemies out of your way if necessary. This is one of those sections that I get a little bit antsy f when I play this game because I'm just... I'm a super impatient video game player, folks. Like I said, I got that Sonic Syndrome. But then what you want to do is you want to wait for this thing to... This platform to move over here and then... Jump up and just keep going up. The uh, boss room is at the very top of this level. Actually, this is one of the easier Koopa Castles to deal with. Since you got that green switch there, that block is turned into a green block, but... Even if I didn't already have the green switch palace activated at this point, I don't think it would have mattered too much. But here's Morton Koopa, the second of the Koopa Kids. And he goes down in three hits, showing off those fancy Mode 7 graphics. That the uh, Super Nintendo was really well known for at the time. But yeah, that's gonna do it for the uh, second world in the game. So yeah, in this part, knocking out the special world and the second world. Morton Koopa Jr. of Castle Number 2 is now just a memory. The next area is the Underground Vanilla Dome. What traps await Mario in this new world? What will become of Princess Toadstool? And it looks like another keyhole has been dealt with, and this is Vanilla Dome 1, folks. And this is... I will say this is one of my favorite overworld themes in the game. Not the uh, one that's playing right now, but the one that plays on the map. That do, 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 do. I, I could listen to that for hours, folks. <laughs> I'll be honest. I feel like it's one of the more underrated pieces of music in Super Mario. Yeah, just kind of messing around here for a few seconds, gonna get some power-ups, and... You notice since I activated that special world, got everything I needed over there, the uh, Koopa shells are turned into Mario masks, which is kind of unusual, and the piranha plants look like pumpkins now. Uh, grab that key. Dun! Dunna, dunna, dunna. But I gotta go back here because there's another exit that I gotta deal with. The key is actually the more difficult of the two exits to get through. Or to get to, I mean. Looks like I'm gonna leave you here, Yoshi. I know, I left you now. I took away the biggest part of you. <laughs> I don't need copyright deals. I don't need to deal with copyright laws. Now since I got Cape Mario, it makes it a little bit harder to run through this section. Only because you can't get the extra life. Sometimes, sometimes it's possible. I'll definitely grab this checkpoint. 
and bonk whatever those things are called out of the way. I can't remember the name of those red spiky enemies or whatever. We got one of those fancy blue shells, but that's going to do it for Vanilla Dome 1, folks. So far, I've got over 700,000 points, 87 coins. I only got nine of the big points, so no bonus rooms anytime soon. And I'm going to go ahead and knock out Vanilla Dome 2. This is yet another one that has two different exits. Here we got some more underwater stuff, though, going on. So I'll go ahead and get this fire flower and take care of some business. Climb the pumpkin plant. Bonk the fuzzy meatloafs. I think they're actually called buzzy beetles, though. A little couple extra lives out of that. I'm already up to 72 lives. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stay Cape Mario for this one, folks. And it looks like I'm gonna show off the first of the uh, bonus room. Or I'm gonna go ahead and show off the uh, secret exit first. Get the key. I would say a good majority of the time the key is the uh, alternate exit. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the other exit first though before I check out that red switch palace. Ooh. Yeah, definitely want to stay Fire Mario for this. I really like the underground version of this Super Mario level theme. It sounds a little bit better though with Yoshi, because it adds that percussion track. We got to deal with those Koopa football players. Eh, yeah, might as well go ahead and just grab that star power up. I figured why not. Probably make it a little bit easier to just get through the remainder of this level. And I got a couple extra lives, surprisingly. And 20 of the big points. And here we see the vanilla ghost house, but I'm going to go ahead and hit this uh, red switch palace up real quick, folks. And this is another spot where you can actually get an extra life by just letting that shell follow you. Two extra lives, actually. And a few coins. But yeah, this uh, will be the third of the Switch Palaces. There is only one more left, folks. That's the blue Switch Palace, anyway. And I will see you all for part five of the Super Mario World playthrough. As this is the end of part four. And actually... Actually, no, now it's the end of part four.